desire today is that the goodness of God shall come upon you in everything that you do. The favors of God shall be poured out upon you, and therefore blessings come to you. But you know we have to wake up to God's standard and do the things that He requires us to do. Remove the things that we must remove from our lives. Today we are going to read Genesis chapter 32 from verse 24 to verse 29. Genesis 32. Verse 24 to verse 29. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip. And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you've struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, tell me your name, I pray. And he said, why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. There are things that we must remove from our lives for the goodness of God to come in. Now let's get the picture of Jacob's life clearly. His father Isaac was about to bless Esau, his senior brother. The mother of her headed. And well connived with Jacob. And Jacob got the blessing. We are not going to the details of that. Read up your scripture. But anyway, from the moment the father blessed him, things got wrong. Things got tough. Why did things go wrong? Because he brought upon himself the name of Esau. The father asked him three times, who are you? And all three times he answered the same, I am Esau, your firstborn son. He had brought the life of Esau upon himself. Whether he knew it or not, but that is what happened. As the scripture said before then, Esau was a man of the field, an outdoor man. Jacob was a man at home. But from that day, Jacob became a man of the field. As he would confess to Laban after 20 years of suffering, he said, for 20 years, you changed my wages 10 times. But he was a deceiver and he found deceitfulness. And then he said, for 20 years, sleep left my eye. Why wouldn't sleep leave his eyes? Because he had said he is Esau, a man of the field. He had to sleep in the field. 20 years. He said the frost, the cold, the sun, everything happened to him outside. At night, he slept in the open field. He slept in the wilderness. As a matter of fact, from the one, he had already started sleeping in the wilderness. You know, when he was running away from Esau, he slept that night in the wilderness. And what was his pillow? Stones. That was the beginning of problems. For 20 years, he suffered that thing until he met the angel. And the angel asked the question, what is your name? He didn't understand the import of the question. He thought it was just a question. But thank God for his mercies. He was able to say, I am Jacob. What if he had said, I am Esau? His problems would have continued, maybe magnified. God is giving you the opportunity today to denounce that evil. Denounce that falsehood. Get back to whom God expects you to be. Be the person that God expects of you, not the false person who is laboring under some kind of name or title or assumption or sin evil one way or the other that has brought disaster upon you that was not designed for your life in any way. For Esau, a man of the field, the field will be perfect for him. But for Jacob, who was meant to be a man of the house, the field was a torture for him. Are you laboring under the imposition that sin has brought upon you? Are you laboring under the imposition that unrighteousness has brought upon your life? Would you change right now? Jacob changed just one moment. He didn't even understand the import of it. And he asked the angel, what is your name? The angel said, why are you asking about my name? You think this thing is a name thing? No. It is a removing 
the thing that you brought upon yourself by a name, what did you bring upon yourself by so many crooked things? Some of us are working with fake certificates, other people's certificates. You stole or you manipulated some kind of thing. Some of us are working, doing things with false birthdays. And you are bringing the problem of that date upon your life. Would you change now? Oh, no, I'm too far gone. If I change at this point, it's going to be a problem. Well, continue in your problem. Why are you looking for God's blessing? Because the fellow who is looking for God's blessing is the one that is going to change from that thing, no matter what it will cost him. Because the blessing of God will override everything that you are supposedly calling gain from that deceitfulness. Change it now. At the end, I am going to pray for everybody, but I'm going to pray a prayer of blessing, and that blessing won't come to you because God does not bless falsehood. God does not bless evil. God does not bless wickedness. God has never blessed sin. So if you are looking for his favor, looking for his blessing, denounce that thing here and now. And not that kind of denouncing by mouth. Denounce in your heart, denounce by your mouth, Denounce from your life such that you will never get back to that path throughout the days that you live. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for the blessings of Abraham, the blessings of Moses, the blessings that even you gave to Jacob, the blessings of David, the blessings of all of them that they are your children and more than those blessings. I ask for blessings of eternity, the one from the throne of grace, upon everyone now who is truly your child, the one who has to denounce evil, and the one that even does not have what to denounce. Lord, let your favor turn upon them here and now, and may you receive that blessing now, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.